<laughs> Three zoners and a rushdown. Uh, enter a bracket. Who's gonna, you know, make it through? So far, one up for the rushdown. Two zoners coming up on stream. I think we're waiting. Uh, no, we're not. Uh, I couldn't tell with the light. So Javi's here, starting to get set up. All right, we're moving in to the other side of winter semis finals. The winner of this gets the honor, the privilege, the opportunity to play Mr. ConCon in winter's finals. The loser ends up on their own side of quarters. Not sure who they're going to play. Or here on Wednesday night fights. Wednesday weekly of SoCal and 2G Gaming. If you're here joining us on the stream, welcome. If you're uh, catching us on the VOD later, welcome as well. Let us know how it's going. And you're about to see two of the finest Richters, two of the finest Belmonts here in Southern California. Nah, open it's up not even Richter. <laughs> Simon, uh... Simon's not existed. Yeah. I mean, all the Richter players know yeah. that there's no such thing as a Simon. And here we go. They're opening up. I'm not sure who's who right now. Nah, nah, okay, I so think Nitro got, yeah. is... Uh, Nitro is his uh, standard black Richter. Yeah. And uh, C3 Dome likes to go green or blue. Yep. So sticking with the blue. Make sure it's well enough. I like how they both have the same game plan. Uh -huh. So it's really <laughs> awkward to see them. Yeah, who's going to execute it better, right? And here comes, oh my god, look at these predictions flying everywhere. That's an interesting, that's a weird double jump coming out from T3 Dome in that situation. Probably cost him quite a bit of the, uh, of the game, but he's trying to press his yeah. advantage. Maybe trying to go for a down air to break through the zone. He's able to get through. Ah, uh, and the trajectory of that misses, but the down throw sure doesn't. He expected a roll, and they both went for the back air, but unable to hit it, but Nitro sure does. If there's one thing that separates Nitro from T3 Dome, his aerials are so much more. And his axe on point right there, and he's got him in a little bit of trouble. Uh, he baited the down air. He knows exactly what is. What's so good about being the best at your character is that you understand Dino matches even better mm -hmm. because you know exactly what you want. Although sometimes what ends up happening is, if you think about if if Nitro is the better Richter, T3 Dome has more experience against a better Richter yeah, but than Nitro true. is. Yeah, <laughs> but also, <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's also the fact that Nitro, great job using the Nair. Is that going to be enough? It is. It is, and he ties it up. You know, you know, make the plays as you need if you're trying to make an upset. That's the way to start. Just keep yourself within striking distance and let it, you know, let's hope for the best. But he's got a, another stock to go before he's really threatening to take it again. And he's got to take three of them because we're in semis. Yeah, do the best as he can. Here comes a down throw into the barrel. Actually, no, a little 200% or some great VI out for Nitro. And he's on Nitro scouting out that down throw. Just picks up the back air punish immediately. And here we go. Axe out once more. Axe trades, actually. Cross trades. Caught in the crossfire, I would say. I don't think uh, Nitro realized he's going to get hit by that holy, oh. holy water. Oh, Ooh, great D. I smashed DI up. T3 Dome living with the skin of his teeth. He's like, I've seen this setup once or yeah. twice before in my lifetime. I know what's coming. <laughs> it's not just a setup. It's a setup that I use all the time. <laughs> I know who he is. He's me. <laughs> he's able to get out of that one. A lot of fire coming into play, but Nitro actually eating a brunt of the damage, though. And T3 Dome already pressing the advantage. Picks up the holy water, but good counter hit coming out from Nitro. Saves him from a forward smash for sure. That's definitely the same integration. I have an H drop the shield a little too early. Axe doesn't kill though. Thankfully, when he's able to get out, it gets clipped out. He baited the air dodge and he's just gonna forward throw him. Not gonna kill just yet. Yeah, not uh yeah, Nitro waiting just a little bit. Well, it's looking like a oh good good lead for T3 Dome. Nitro's able to clutch out that second stop. <laughs> Let's see if uh, TT Drum's able to take it before Nitro's Nitro puts on too much damage. Nitro with 160, he needs a, it's a little more than the match rate possible, but the down tilt finally gets him off. Great weave around to escape it, and he's gonna snap to the ledge just to avoid the axe, but the greatly spaced F tilt. Fair. Yeah, a good, fair, a good forward air covers the, uh, the landing, and we're back in business. And actually, TT Drum might have his chance at Nitro off stage. Doesn't really get a good ledge option. Or ledge trap out of it. Good down tilt to zone break. Down tilt to get out of the range of it. Here comes the downer, but misses the nair as part of it. And yeah, Dome pressing the advantage off from that one ledge pressure situation. Oh no! Uh, oh, no. that was good. It yeah, it is double jump stuff. All right, that's good. That's good. Wouldn't want to see it end on an SD. But right, especially great. when he's an advantage and you know threatening to take the first game. We we're talking about managing the game if you want to make an upset, keeping yourself within striking distance. Come the last stock, and that's where Teethy Dome is right now. Yeah, but look at these backers from Nitro. They're actually beating it out. That could have been it, but he that actually was a bad forward air, forward air dodge. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's baiting it out because he's trying to go for a smash PI out. He's panicking knowing that S-Smash could come at any notice. But great drag down into that F tilt. And oh my god, that could have been a better confirm, but unable to find it. Here comes the down air. He's going to bounce off the shield. They both go oh, for they're both going for the Who hit what? 
He's alive, thankfully, but oh my goodness, T3 Go barely gets away in the dash attack, finally pushes Nitro off, and here comes the down tip once more. He didn't see the axe coming from behind. Oh, miss, he missed him, but he tried to get off the stage. Oh, but and there's a downer, baits it out, and gets the kill. Woo! <laughs> oh my god, what a tight set. A lot of All missing right. puts came into play, but T3 Dome was able to clutch out with that hard S smash. Yeah, they got a little bit of a spaghetti going on right there back and forth. Yeah, honestly. A little nervous, a little nerves matches. You know, when Pride's on, it's one thing when you're in winter semis. It's another thing when you're in winter semis trying to stake your claim to, oh, I'm the best Richter, right? And so. it's another <laughs> when it's a Richter deal. Okay? Yeah. Because so. you on, not only have to watch your own projectile. A lot to manage on the screen, uh -huh. and, you know, your hands are shaking, you're getting a little nervous. But T3 Dumb coming out on top game one, and... As we were saying, you gotta manage it, you know, manage it. The road to an upset, it's a long one. Two more wins needed to bring it home, but let's see if T3 Drums got it. it looks like Nitro picking, Smashville picking a smaller stage. Yeah, it benefits both of them. Mm -hmm. And also, it's a disadvantage for any of them. It's really kind of strange to deal with, but we're gonna do our best not to get back into this one. Ah, uh, man. T3 Drum, you know. Able to recover, but puts himself off stage, which is huge uh, positional disadvantage. Both of them with that down tilt, that's something to keep in mind, especially near the edge. That down tilt, if you're able to shield it, the positioning that uh, that Richter ends up in, really terrible. Sets up all kinds of edge guard situations. And he, they know the timing of getting off the ledge, knowing that they'll get the invulnerability during the neutral getup, but catch the roll with it, including the fair as well. And I wonder why uh, Nitro didn't push his advantage one more time, picked him up out of that double jump, and had a lot of advantage. Tried to carry him with the holy water catching it out and greatly up into that F smash. Oh no, he went a little too far. Yeah, a little got a little scared. Went with a dare for recovery. Not the option he was looking for. Went straight to the blast zone, unfortunately. Usually you want to use the dare, you know, to propel yourself down where you can go for the up but I think he went a little too far. Right. Maybe he didn't know maybe he didn't have his double jump too. Could have been a lot of different things. But I love this play. Great edge guard until he did that. No! Oh no. That is not what you want, especially in this matchup where every hit's so hard to come by. I, I was you know, I was about to say, you know, it's kinda hard to edge guard a Richter because yeah. you just kinda die. And then he does the edge guard and then literally dies. I wonder if he got that glitch, you know, the one where they just don't grab the ledge sometimes, like I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. I've seen it on Twitter, but it could be like just the uh, the John of the, uh, the, all, the all is fair is love. All, all is love and fair in the war. But here we go. <laughs> that confirmed. Oh my God, I'm choking right now. Not as much oh, as I'm choking. choking like no, T3 no. Dome is. <laughs> all right. He, he picked up the first game though. So sometimes just the laugher, you gotta laugh it off. He's like, I don't like Smashville anyway. Whatever you gotta do to justify oh, in I your was mind. I'm just sandbagging. Get me out of here. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do to justify in your mind. Uh, you know, pretty horrendous loss. Getting a little coaching and a little support from the crowd, you know. I think uh, I see the UCI in the tag, so quite a bit of a UCI pride on the line as well. Shout out to the UCI community and their, you know, the little esports arena they got going down over there. Nice little oh, venue. Bobby's back. Production's back. We got 1-1 one, one going on for uh, T3 Dome and Nitro coming through. <laughs> and of course, they're both going Richter. I didn't see the stage that we're going to end up, but I'm sure it's going to, you know, it'll be an even matchup regardless. Oh man, there's the contract looking over. Just like, wow. Going against the Richter next. But he's actually a color switch. Uh, no, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Did he forget which one that he was? But no, they just uh, reset him. Either they didn't like FD or they didn't like the color. Probably the color, I'd guess. I think it's the color. Yeah. You gotta get the right color. They're just nodding. All right, game four, right? Game four? Game, game four. <laughs> <laughs> God, it feels like it's so like timeless inside here. It feels like it's like not even not an hour a day. It's like almost midnight. Are we at Thursday morning fights yet? No, we're not quite at Thursday not morning yet. fights. Not yet, not yet, not yet. We're almost there. All right, but yeah, it's one one. All right, here we go. Scores on the board. It's official, and we're gonna roll through Richter's. He's on the yellow. He almost got yellow again. Yeah, that, I think that, I think that's <laughs> that why was the saying. color. They're that like, was oh, the color man. swab that we're looking for. But moving on, Richter versus Richter, round two, three. Three, round three, three, three. All right, Dome. Oh my goodness, okay, so immediately, it seems always to start off that Dome gets the advantage, and but then Nitro finds some way to get back. Right. Whether it's just like maybe one is suppressing an advantage or some big plays coming out from Nitro, very good pickup right there. Pick up the ledge traps, act more from his holy water, but still on cooldowns, so unable to find anything. Great parry though. And yeah, TD Drum is playing it off stage, having to go high. He's starting to become a little predictable with these aerials, though. I we're seeing Nitro is starting to catch on him. Number yeah, get, get his timing, get some parries in. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, and thankfully that axe, that cross was actually able to cover. And being 
shields. That, and actually, it looks like T3 Jump's catching it on. Yeah, they're both learning each other, and by the end of it, it's just going to carry back and forth. So. That's, it's going to come back to against the priority, right? right. 20, we're in the year 20XX. The year 20 of XX, it's yeah. two Richters going Yeah, yeah he's other. going for the edge guard. Didn't go for the back end that time. And great. Oh, no. Is that going to be enough? I think it is. Yep. I was, I was like, T3 Dome, if you SD again when you go for edge guard, I will personally go over there and throw hands with you. <laughs> but he's able to finally get away. Oh, he, I think he pointed the holy, holy water. Yeah, a little map quest in like wrong directions. Uh, map did not update correctly. Uh -huh, so Took a wrong turn at final destination. Yeah, one, one, one hundred and fifty percent. He's using his. Uh, I love he's using his cross in order to interrupt it. Oh, that's massive though. And that's oh. two. All right, so we're talking about laughers for games. Uh, game two and game three looking like straight garb right now. Yeah, Welcome to the Lux Savage Hour. The guy, man, they're looking like my Richter out there trying to recover. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's, it's it's like really hard right now because they're both starting to get a read on each other. It's just that T3 builds the pressure is working out better. And he can't even roll away from that from that cross. It's just forcing him in these really uncomfortable positions. And he gets it to confirm. No, he baits out the air dodge really well yeah. played. You, you could feel that he thought that up special was coming in air dodge and covered that covered it with a forward air and picked up the stock. Either would have killed, you know, sometimes you get put in those 50 50s, but it's not really a 50 50, it's just 100, you're dead, no matter what. And here, Nick, um, speaking of dead, Nitro finally able to step it through. Oh, great job. So he likes to use the axe in order to bait out the neutral yep. getup, and then when the invul frames ends, That'll he's do just it. gonna hit him, yeah. Yeah, very easy game, kind of a laugher. <laughs> They're both laughing it off. They're feeling it. Welcome to Winter Semis, where the Richters are dying faster than uh, we know what to do with. And meanwhile, Con Con lurks in the shadows, ready to take him out. You know, Winter's you're going, you're going against the Richter next. <laughs> 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 we just told uh, Con Con he's going against the Richter now. He's like, I have no choice in the matter. <laughs> Talk about agency. I mean, he has a choice. You can Would pick you up rather <laughs> go against Dome or Nitro? Richter. <laughs> I mean, you can technically just leave. <laughs> there is some choice. I know I'm not leaving. I'm already, I, I've come this far. Might as well see it through. But we got another match to play. Maybe two. Let's see. Nitro on the brink of an upset. He needs to get past this. It's just that T3's aggression is working out. You see, immediately we're seeing right. that Nitro's at a disadvantage from immediately from the start. Especially with the positioning, you know, being so powerful. And this Ditto in particular, you, you know. There are very few dittos where the position is so strong, like you see all March dittos are kind of like that. The Richter dittos are having like that. It's just, it's crazy. But as soon as you speak that, Nitro getting the nice damage off and forcing these really uncomfortable, uncomfortable positions. But I'd like to see the adaptation from him, like what he usually does, because remember Dome, he's using his axes to beat out the neutral get up, but a greatly placed F smash hits him just in the tip. Right. Reached like halfway into the blast zone with that yeah. forward smash. And yeah, TT Rum had nowhere to go. And he's right back off stage, and Nitro putting in the work. He gets right up into the oh, holy no. water. Oh, he's fine. Thank goodness. He's using the down for the hard read. Yeah, he was trying to cover that roll get up instead, but, you know, T3 Drum just got up straight into the holy water. But lands right into the action. This is a different Nitro we're seeing right now. Playing a little more aggressive, trying to press on some, you know, some of the hard reads that he has. With a rising fair off the ledge, kind of the first time we've seen that option employed by either of them. Oh, and almost got to confirm off the cross, but unable to find it, angling it up. He actually catches the holy water, so he's got two on board. Oh, but... Oh, it broke on him. Yep. Yeah. Unfortunate for him. And actually going to hit by two holy waters. The percent's even up, but the stock sure ain't. There you go. He's just throwing holy water right on the corner, forcing that oh. floor smash. He had nowhere to go, perfectly spaced. If you give, yeah, if you give them time to set up, it's going to be trouble. But despite all that work, uh, you know, T3 Dome's in a lot of trouble still. Yeah, and the Axe is going to miss out, not spaced well enough, so it's going to be unsafe just like that. And up B out of shield. Oh, uh, let him get away with it. But the shield drop, Nitro still gets hit by a projectile. He's looking for it right now, perfectly spaced back air. The problem is, is that once they do that short hop, it's so telegraphed what they're going to do, because they both went for the back air. Right. Just kind of a synchronized dance. They both jump to the left. And there Picks we go. up the forward air, though. Nitro looking so much better right now. Yeah, and some of those rising forward airs definitely catching T3 Drum on, you know, by and surprise. And read on the roll. He's unable to find it, but it actually bounces right back up, so it's going to save him just like that. But he goes for the down air. It's going to get red out immediately up to catch a little more out. So right Using now. the platform for pressure. Good up special out. Covering the landing, and, and oh. yeah, there's an SD. All right, Even so. Nitro's confused. <laughs> He's just like...
Both of them have caught the uh, caught a case of the uh, stock drop, the stock drop itis, <laughs> just yeah. killing themselves just as much as they're killing each other. We gotta get an SD count on this match somewhere. Somebody in the comments just let us know how many SDs we've gotten because I we're pretty close to. They might have killed themselves just as often as they've killed each other. Unfortunately, Thursday yeah. morning fights. <laughs> Welcome to Thursday morning fights. Thursday here. morning fights. <laughs> The clock has struck midnight. Yes. No Cinderella is here. I can see each of uh, everybody's warrior. Uh, I mean, the clock struck midnight. <laughs> the moon is up, and we got two Richters fighting it out. Who will be going to winner's finals to face against Mr. Kong Kong? Gonna find out here in game five. Everything on the line. Let's hope for a clean match this time. No SDs here. No Let's SDs, go. No SDs. All right, two Richters face against each other. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, I was like, oh, okay, roll what? Richter. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> Fist bump, you know, some brother brotherhood of the uh, of the Belmonts. And here we go, game five, Wednesday night fights, Thursday morning fights. Thursday Who knows what time fights. it is? We're and moving on to the last game of winter semis. Who will we move forward? <laughs> no matter what time it is, it's time for Richter, and here we go. Richter time. And the drag down there, um, I'm starting to like that. It seems that Nitro's aerials are on point, but when it comes to drag down, oh! Oh, no, there's an SD. What the hell? You said that you didn't want it, and now <laughs> no. you just got it. All right, that's what you get. That's Talk unfortunate. And goes for the up air and up throw into up air confirm. I keep loving that, but right now Nitro's got some work ahead of me to get to, to get this back. I love that being lessons you at home. Even the power rank players, they get some nerves. They end up killing themselves sometimes. You know, you just hate to see it in you know game five. That's unfortunate. Boy, that's just crazy. But hits him up with this cross. It's, it's just like. It's like a dodgeball match. <laughs> All these predictable flies left and You're out, LeFleur. Yeah, Nitro using a great usage of the down throw, including the downer to get himself in a safe position. But right now, he jumps right into the axe. He's going into these downers. Yeah, kind of aggressive. a panicky option. You're just kind of a little, maybe a little in his feels now just because he dropped that stock so early. Trying to, either that or just going for the wild card options, making, trying to make something happen desperately. Oh, no, but the axe clips him, though. But that platform's going to be coming to the saving grace. But this time, this downer doesn't kill him, thankfully. And he's going, you see him going back to that rising pair that was working the last game, but he's down by so much. And great f to catch him out. C3 Dome with a dominating lead that SD, you don't like it, but you got to take it. Yeah, both of them are just going for those uh, rising back here. You see what I'm telling you? Yeah. With the telegraphed get up, neutral get up. T3 Dome is catching it, and it seems that Nitro has to still put on to his own habits. But it also could be the nerves at this point, because he's on his last stop. Yeah, upset City, We're almost there. We said it was a long road, and he's on the home stretch. But it's always the hardest stock, right? I mean, it's also it's also the, the dittos are kind of hard to work around yeah. as well. So they both have the same win condition. There's a bunch of projectiles being flown left and right. And he, sometimes you don't even know whose cross it is or whose fire this is. There we go. Teething Dome trying to nav navigate his way back. Did a really good job from that disadvantage situation to capitalize uh -oh. and bring it through. And yeah, Nitro. This time he jumps away. He knows that he keeps getting caught by that neutral get up. So this time he's baiting it out. Oh my god, he missed it in the down smash. That's going to be instant punish. The four throw. What's the option? Can T3 Dome get the upset with the three stock? Yeah, I think he's got. Oh, he tried to pick up the up special. But there's a forward smash. Nitro uh, trying to keep himself just a little bit alive. Oh, bad, bad air dodge. Got a little trap between the projectiles. He's going to be fine, though. He's trying to get off of this corner, but this pressure. Look at this. He's getting caught out by everything. And he comes soaring back down with that down air. Oh, my God. The only real way he can actually win this is he's able to give the stock out potentially and use the race to his advantage. But look at this controlled pace by T3 Dome. He went, towards, no, he went towards the axe in order to recover. That was a really smart play that came in from Nitro. He knew that he would survive, and he got some good DI, knowing that the axe is actually going to be. And that's all she wrote. There you go. There's it. the upset. Yeah. You that's can only good, dodge so long, man. Yeah. Congratulations to T3 Dome. The SP is unfortunate, but it happens. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Nitro being a good sport about it, you know? So they just got to laugh it off, you know? Oh, what's happening? We have some sort of announcement going down. Oh, this is 2GG, run it back. Uh, no. I think. Hold on, we got some major major things happening. Yeah, one on. second, guys. Electric cancel? Electric cancel? Oh, it's for Tekken. Nice. I saw Vaya on the screen saying something, but we're out of the headphones on. Somebody's got to update us. We'll, we'll find out later what's going on, <laughs> but getting ready here for winner's finals. All right. I need to grab something real quick. Let me use the bathroom. Yeah, for sure.
Can you handle? Oh, I can. I can, can handle without me. I can. I can. I'll, I'll survive. Sure? Uh, I'll miss you though. Right, I'm sure. okay, okay. I'll be right back. Alright, then we're waiting on Teeth New Dome. They got a little bit of bathroom, bathroom break in production.